All right, we're going to go a little bit further into series circuits. So this one's going to get into some of the numbers, so kind of the math. And there's actually going to be really important rules in this one. Um, I'll have an accompanying video with an example problem that supports these ideas, and it'll show you how to work through an actual problem with numbers. So anyway, you can see that I've created a series circuit. Right away, the giveaway is there's only one path, follow conventional current. There's only one path, and in series, they have to be one after another like that. Um, close the switch, of course, and they all light up. Now, the series I created all are the same light bulbs, so identical resistances. It doesn't necessarily always have to be like that. But anyway, if we would have done the lab over here is stuff that would have uh, been for the multimeter. So this is the voltmeter. It'll measure voltage across objects. And this is the ammeter. It'll measure current because of the amps at certain locations. So we'll get this one out of the way real quick, the voltmeter. If I actually put this on each side of the battery, it should tell me the voltage supplied by the battery. Now, think of voltage as pressure. So the battery actually has the pressure buildup. And it's kind of like conservation of energy, even though voltage is not exactly energy. But anyway, I have a 9-volt battery. Now, that gives pressure to the circuit. It will lose this pressure. So remember, 9 volts. It'll lose this pressure across resistors. So it's actually lost some of that pressure buildup across this light bulb, 3 volts uh, to be exact. And if I do it across this one, you'll notice it's also a 3 volt drop in pressure. And the last one, last one I don't think it's going to be a surprise, this is going to be a 3 volt drop as well. Now, don't assume this. It's not always the same voltage drop that only occurred because they're identical light bulbs. But the bigger idea is that, not they're all the same, but the battery gave a pressure buildup of 9 volts. And if you think about it, in this one path, this one loop, it lost 3, 3, 3. So in a total, what did it lose? 9. So that is a big rule. I call it the loop rule. And it's the idea that it relates to kind of conservation of energy that whatever the pressure buildup that the battery gives, if you go in one loop around the circuit, the resistors are going to take all that pressure buildup away. In this case, it was evenly distributed, but again, you can't assume that all the time. So I'll probably give you an example problem where the numbers do different. All right. The other thing then is current. To measure current, though, we can't just put it uh, like the prongs, the leads did there. We actually have to break the circuit. So I'm going to remove a wire and then put this right in there. And this should work pretty easy. I get a current of 0.3 amps. Now, you might think that when you go past the light bulb that the current will change in a series circuit. But surprise, surprise, it will actually stay the same. Uh, maybe that's a fluke. Maybe it's going to change right here. I know I'm just teasing you guys. Sorry. Got to have my phone. Um, but if I put it right here, 0 0.3 as well. So this is the idea that relates to conservation of charge. This one's kind of easy, ex easily explained with water flowing in a river. So if we have water flowing in a river on one path, which is the charge is shown here, and the river never splits into like a left and right lane, you still have to have the same amount of water, or in this case, the same amount of charge flowing. So in a series circuit, it's really simple the current every single place will stay the same. Now you may be thinking, well, what if the resistors aren't identical? All right, I don't want to overcomplicate this, but don't worry about the bulb's brightness because something's going to happen with that, and I don't want you overthinking and confuse yourself. But if I do change the resistance, yes, the current did change, but it changed the same everywhere. So again, the idea is that no matter what these light bulbs are, if they're in series, the current's going to be the same at every single location because it never split into multiple paths. It's on the same path, just like water flowing in a river. All right. Now, of course, if I did change the resistance, you can see that, well, this bulb is brighter than the other two. And if I actually brought this back, it's going to measure different voltages across this. So that's four volts now. And this one is 2.5 volts. So this one better be the remaining. Cross our fingers. Uh, it is. Good news. The rules 